uh, so, so the uh, I will uh, I want to motivate uh, regarding uh, the motivation and uh, to generate one the variant elements of Selman model is critical for fact checking and assessing the strength of argument. So the implicit information uh, in the evidence uh, is, is called what warrant justify the argument and explain why the evidence support the claim. So if the evidence doesn't support the claim or there is no logical connection between the evidence and the claim, then, uh, then the conclusion of the claim is uh, incorrectly uh, inferred. Despite the critical role of warrant, and it's uh, to play an important role for argument comprehension, the fact that most words aim to select the best warrants from existing structures data and the label data is scarce to present a fact-checking challenge, particularly when the evidence is insufficient or the inclusion is not uh, inferred or generated well based on the evidence. So sometimes the, the claim isn't uh, concluded or inferred correctly, so we need external knowledge or other knowledge that support the claim. So if this connection between the evidence and the claim is not exist, so that uh, we couldn't uh, assist, uh, do assessment or check the factuality of the claim. Additionally, deep learning method, uh, methods for false information detection face a significant bottleneck due to the training requirement, requirement for, tra for a large amount of label data. Uh, also, manually annotating data, on the other hand, is time consume, consuming and needs a lot of effort. Thus, we examine the extent to which the warrant can be written or generated using unstructured data obtained from the, their premises. Here, uh, in this uh, figure, we show an example of a uh, warrant according to Solomon argument. Solomon argument it should be interrupt, uh, interpret, uh, explained as a guideline for concentrating on the most relevant statement and reasons for supporting or opposing the claim. It's composed of six argument components. Here we have this uh, figure. This figure shows the main, com the six components of Solomon argument, including the words. So we have firstly ground, we mean by ground evidence, premises, data, facts, the, 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 the well-known facts. Uh, then the, the, the claim is inferent according to the data and qualifier, qualified by the qualifier. It's uh, the reasons or the connection between the grounds and the claim it exists in the words. Backing, uh, and we have backing and rebuttal. Rebuttal is the opposite or it's a uh, weakness for the claim. So now I will give some definition for the sixth uh, component of Solomon model in order to uh, explain uh, the role of warrant in this uh, argument. Uh, so the claim is the statement that is being argued to be true. For example, the cat is most puppy friendly. Qualifier, there are some words like generally, occasionally, in most cases, frequently few, uh, or uh, all of these uh, words that limit the claims uh, that's critical for determining the truth, uh, the truth, uh, uh, fullness of argument. For example, students who study more often earn more than students who study less. So more often is a qualification or qualify the, uh, the uh, claim. The data, we mean by the data, the evidence or premises or the fact that uh, we have, uh, uh, according to the, da the data or the based on the data, the claim is generated. So, the data is the actual data has been gathered or substantiated the perspective or the claim. It contains persuasion or declaration to clarify the claim and uh, data provide evidence to substantiate that perspective. So if we have a claim, the claim should be based on evidence. Okay, now warrant. Warrant is the reasons why it's critical to make decisions as supporter or opponent. 
the parents will address the following question. How did you arrive at this claim based on the evidence presented? So the warrant is the logical connection between the data and it, how did you resolve this claim? So if we have evidence and we have a claim, how, uh, how could you uh, generate or conclude your claim based on the evidence? The backing is the justification uh, is more justification or explanation for the warrant as more specific illustration to substantiate the warrant. Rebuttal, rebuttals or counter argument demonstrate op an opposing viewpoint as expectation to the claim and consider other conflict conflicting point of view. So we uh, we focus here in the third uh, component, uh, sorry, on the fourth component, which is what. Uh, Cochrane and literature, despite the fact that utilizing the warrant can aid in the performance of fact checking tasks, to our knowledge, no previous work has proposed the claim connected to be a, uh, a piece of evidence via automatic uh, uh, warrant generation. So, automatic uh, warrant generation is, wasn't considered to be the case. Additionally, no experiment was conducted using labeled data, but rather uh, through the use of case studies. Uh, so there are some research use case studies in order to uh, uh, to create or to produce uh, a warrant. Unlike the previous work that relies on structured annotated uh, warrants or manually generated warrant for emerging claims based on a certain linguistic uh, rules that require a higher level of language comprehension and complex uh, reasons. Our work is based on the automated generation of uh, warrant for claims. So, for, to, uh, to achieve this and to address uh, those challenges, we have developed two uh, models. The first model uh, is in right, uh, in this figure in the right side. The first model, uh, all, uh, the, for both uh, models, we have the same input, we have the claim and evidence. And according to the data uh, annotation, we have evidence reason. We uh, this is the main input. We firstly try to uh, we have uh, uh, an article which is long, so we try to capture the most relevant fragments in the in the text that could be related and relevant to warrant information. So to achieve that, we uh, we use the three uh, different models to retrieve the most uh, information that could be related or relevant to the warrant, like uh, the first model, lexical chain with multi-head attention. The second one is the reticular structure theory. And finally, we make a causality attention. After we retrieve the most information that could be related to the relevant, we have the output, which is candidate warrant, because we don't need, uh, we don't know if this uh, warrant or not. After that, we apply the reinforcement learning, uh, uh, the RL agent, which acts as generator in order to generate a plausible warrant that could uh, be uh, uh, act as uh, as well. So we enhance the the uh, the, um, the, uh, the performance of this model by using the reward function in order to train it. This is regarding the first one. And I want to explain more details uh, in the next slide. The second model, what is the difference between the second model and the first model? The second model, instead of using the reinforcement learning agent as generator, we use the multi-head attention as generator, but enhance the model by reinforcement learning. So in the first model, as we can see, the, real, the, the reinforcement learning agent acts as generator. But in the second model, the reinforcement learning agent acts as enhancer, enhancer uh, uh, to improve the performance of the generation of process. Okay, regarding the first model, as we said, firstly, we try to identify the warrant relevance track. The first step is to select or receive the information that are relevant to a claim and, and from uh, unstructured evidence. Uh, increasing the efficiency of false information 
section requires developing the ability to recognize the, the connection or the electrical connection between the arguments and ethics. So we could have multiple warrants from the uh, So as we said uh, uh, before, we will apply three, three uh, different methods that could be uh, useful uh, to, to extract the most information uh, uh, to resistance. So uh, here we have example to illustrate how, uh, what is the input of our model. We have a claim, a Greece will destroy the area soon, and we have evidence reasons. We have, as we can see from uh, this uh, figure, we have long articles. So why should we uh, uh, capture the most relevant uh, information from this text? As we can see, there are different aspects that could be covered by this uh, uh, long article. So we want to focus more on, uh, on the, uh, the text or the, that only focus on semantic uh, aspect or on a particular, a particular uh, semantic aspect that, uh, that's focused by the claim. As we can see, uh, for example, uh, uh, Greece is the, uh, a semantic aspect that could be uh, focused by the claim. So we do we want to ignore the irrelevant information for the claim. So firstly, we use lexical chain with multi-head annotation in order to retrieve those information. Why, we, we, why uh, do we use a lexical chain? We use it to summarize the text in order to focus more on the uh, semantic aspect or the target of the claim and ignore the irrelevant uh, information of it. So we have long, we have long text. We want to generate first the lexical chains. As we can see, for example, we have two lexical chains. The lexical chain one uh, is money, account, transfer, cash, with robot. Why? What do you mean by lexical chain? We mean all the uh, all the words that are semantically related, either by, uh, for example, synonyms, antonyms, parts of. So all of these semantic relations could be extracted by using wordnet like that. So after that, after we generate the or create the lexical chain, we try to uh, find the uh, most. Uh, uh, we try to uh, uh, to, fo uh, to focus on the uh, the part of it that are uh, uh, um, that are more more related to the. Uh, the, the lexical chain with high score. What do you mean by lexical chain with high score? The lexical chain given high score, it, it's more related to the claim. So we use the attention mechanism as we can see from. So from this example, we average each lexical chain as, uh, as uh, in this uh, uh, equation. After we average these uh, uh, chains, we try to find its score according to the uh, uh, to all of, uh, the hidden state in the claim. So the model, uh, the uh, to model the relevancy of the segment or of text toward the strongest chain, we first calculate the word alignment of segment toward the chain. We use the embedding of words in chain and segment to calculate the semantic alignment score to as shown in this equation. After we apply the lexical tool and we have, we will uh, output or we get a summarized uh, text that focus more on the claim, then we apply multi-head attention. Why do we uh, multi uh, apply the multi-head attention? Uh, we try to find the section that have uh, uh, a particular semantics uh, uh, aspect in the claim. So we have uh, a query as a claim, the key as the uh, uh, the uh, uh, warrant. Uh, sorry, the query is the warrant candidate, and the keys are the key, uh, and we have the evidence as values. So we apply the multi head attention. Sorry. Yeah. So 
However, the query is the input where vector of candidates were important. For example, money. The keys are the input word vectors for all of the claim topics. The query for where a vector is the executable vector from the word of the each case using a Yeah, then we just shut your mute, mute your microphone, Dr. Manivanen. Okay, you can do it. Yeah, the weights are then subjected to softmax operation, which normalize all weights to values between zero and one. Finally, the input word vectors values are summed into a weighted average of the all uh, values vectors using the normalized word. If generalized single uh, output word vectors, representation of the candidate warrant word as uh, in those equations, which is not the attention used by Baswani uh, of us. So, to enhance uh, the multi head attention, we construct auxiliary feature vector from the topic and sentiment uh, uh, vector. So, we try to find the vector or the, the, uh, the uh, text that have the same sentiment with the uh, words in order to support the claim. Assuming that, so we uh, uh, we use softmax layer as activation function to, per to find the probability of current candidate warrant as the following equation. Okay, this is the first model we finished. Then the, we try the reciprocal structure theory. Why do we uh, use this? Because, uh, the, as we said before, warrant is explain the claim or explain the claim based on evidence. So we have uh, we want to extract the uh, explanation uh, uh, relation. For example, we have data and we have uh, we have a claim and we have warrant. So the the claim is a result. And the sense is the warrant, and we have this data, which is, uh, for example, whether it's called is data, and we have a claim as a result. I will, I will, I will accord, and we have uh, data since the temperature has decreased by 15 Celsius. Uh, this is the data. So we have data, as we said, we have claim as a result, and we have warrant. So, because this this the nature uh, the nature of this uh, uh, relation, which is the reciprocal structure theory, we try to find uh, uh, the, the the relation that could connect the claim uh, with what. So, the gen uh, generally we have uh, uh, input as evidence a claim, and the output should be one. So we will segment six to closes based on a few phrases. Then will we find the rhetorical structure, uh, the rhetorical relations between the clauses to build all the rhetorical structure keys for evidence text. Then we will check the rhetorical relation between the segments, which is we, as you know, the uh, rhetorical structure theory. We have two uh, segments: uh, uh, need plus and satellite. For example, we have some uh, important uh, relation that could help uh, our model uh, as explanation, interpretation, result, or justification. If a signal is nucleus and is relevant to a claim query or query expansion, then the satellite is warrant and vice versa. Then we will save all candidates part of the warrant and continue to the next candidate part. Also, we uh, we concerned by causality based solution. Why uh, why uh, we uh, we concerned by this uh, re relation? Because the, we find that the the warrant has a different uh, causality relation because it it has the main cause uh, to generate that claim. Uh, uh, so uh, how the user or the reader conclude the claim both based on uh, this evidence. So we uh, depend on some linguistic views that could uh, connect the evidence with the, the claim. For example, claim is considered as a result of warrant and evidence. Oh, and as an example, uh, because of warrant, we have evidence and claim. Uh, 
Uh, also, for example, claim, we have a claim, so warrants and evidence. Um, uh, for another example, in order to warrant, we have evidence and evidence. So those causal relations are, uh, uh, are very helpful to find the uh, warrant uh, candidate fragment in the After we uh, extract the most uh, uh, warrant relevant words uh, or fragments from the text, we try uh, to find which is which are the most warrant relevant words uh, from the text. So we apply the reinforcement learning, uh, which uh, this uh, uh, the reinforcement learning has a state. The state here is the information extracted by the previous uh, models. And the reinforcement learning uh, uh, used the action in order to determine or to determine uh, which is the next word should be generated by the reporter. Okay, regarding the first model, as we said, we apply the reinforcement learning model as uh, uh, as generator. But now we try to generate by multi-head attention mechanism and enhance uh, the model by reinforcement claim. For example, we have the claim and we want to generate the, uh, the warrant. Firstly, we apply the, rest of the rhetorical structure theory as we find by results and analysis, it's the most important uh, uh, model that could help us to find the most uh, relevant warrant uh, fragments from the long text, which is the evidence. So we apply the multi-head attention in order to consider the uh, uh, to to let the decoder focus more on different aspects, uh, sem uh, semantic aspects. As we said in the uh, as we uh, uh, noticed that in the traditional attention mechanism like pointer generator, uh, they focus more on one uh, uh, semantic aspect where the claim could have multiple semantic aspects. So a multi-head attention could help in order to find the warrants that focus on different semantic aspects on uh, uh, in the claim. So we use, uh, uh, as you see, the decoder generate word by word based on, firstly, the encoder uh, attention concept is the output of multi-headed a multi head soft attention of sequence word and uh, then uh, we have also the recurrent attention context which is based on the each hidden state of the decoder as a theory and hidden state output of the encoders as key value uh, vectors of multi head attention the decoder attention context where multi head attention uh, uh, of all predicted token is used so those uh, those uh, equations are used in order to generate the uh, uh, the perspective uh, the uh, one. The, the data set that we have used in our uh, model of the training and testing, we have used the ARC data set, which is annotated as we can see. We have business reason, which is a main information from the evidence. We have the claim, and we have adversarial warrant, which is the uh, which conflict uh, or uh, give conflict the viewpoints of the claim and we have warrant which supports the claim or and give the reason why the claim is uh, uh, is true or not. in order to uh, evaluate our model we use automatic evaluation method which is a blue embedding average uh, uh, and the big extreme this and this all of these uh, uh, evaluation methods are used by uh, or commonly used by uh, other uh, natural language processing text uh, generating. So we try to we use uh, uh, this uh, method in order to evaluate our uh, methods. Uh, so the first uh, metric is measure any ground precision of the generated text to multiple target arguments. The second uh, method a, a measure the semantic similarity between the hypothesis and the references using semantic representation by word embedding. Uh, the this compute the, percent, uh, the percentage of a unique unigram by gram with a sentence to measure the diversity. And the last uh, 
uh, one uh, proposed simple method to calculate the sum of the numbers of unique anagrams for each result that begins occur in other results. So now we do uh, application studies in order to uh, get the uh, results for our uh, model. We have we we can see uh, the uh, the where uh, the best performance is to use the rhetorical structure field as selector or uh, uh, or to retrieve the most uh, relevant information to warrant some the text and apply the multi-head attention generator as generator controlled by our uh, 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 reinforcement uh, learning agent. As we can, as we can see, the multi-head attention used as generator, but the reinforcement learning used to reward this um, generated text in order to improve the performance. So this, uh, this table show the, the quality of each of uh, these uh, models. And the uh, the last uh, the this table show their diversity as we focus on two metrics quality and diversity. Also, we can see the rhetorical structure theory uh, with multi-head attention controlled by RL agent is the uh, the best one. Okay. So finally, we propose deep learning for German argument generation, and we can see that. Uh, incorporating the rhetorical structure fee with multi-head mechanism to obtain the best result uh, is the best one and um, uh, and we can for a future we will uh, use other common arguments uh, like uh, modifier or thank you very much for any questions <laughs>